<laughs> hello, hello, we are live. Welcome everybody. Uh, whether you are watching this live or watching this later afterwards, we are going to be talking about how to repurpose your blog to a book and your book to a course. So it's all related to our latest release, which just went live today, which is called, and I can show the screen, repurpose from blog to book to course. All right, how to maximize your revenue and sales, right? By repurposing. And we love, love, love repurposing. And we love blogging. And hopefully you or your audience or both have a blog with content on it because there's a lot that you can do with it. And most people just blog and maybe share the blog post a lot, but don't think about what else they can do with that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'll give you a peek inside the new course. I will give you a peek at the bonuses at the expansion pack. We'll talk about what you can do with all of that. All right. So uh, I have this little ticker going here. Any questions, comments, anything in particular that you want me to show you, make sure you just pop those into the comments because we can see that. And um, also make sure that you know, wow, I've got a lot of stuff going here. Make sure you know the URL that I was just showing you for blog to book to course. So it's just contentsparks.com slash blog book course. So hopefully very memorable there. All right. And we're going to just dive right in talking first about why you would want to repurpose your blog to a book and your book to a course. So really, you start with why you want a book in the first place. And I'm going to hand that to Sarah because she has done a lot, works with bloggers a lot. If you don't know Sarah, Sarah, Team Spark, Sarah Arrow, Online Visibility Academy, follow the ar arrows, <laughs> 30 day blogging challenge, all sorts of things with lots of planners and books on Kindle and Amazon KDP or Create Space or whatever you call it these days. Um, so she's an expert on this and over to you, which way am I pointing? That one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. So the reason that I'm so excited about this particular program that Sharon's putting out, and let's face it, I get excited over all of them, but this one is particularly dear to my heart because there are lots of bloggers and in the blogosphere, which is a technical term for people who write blogs there are 500 million blogs okay wow. now some people like me have 50 of them so you know others have 10 or 20 but that's a huge audience there 500 million people so the chances are you know somebody who blogs you know somebody who's creating content on a regular basis and you know somebody who is looking to make more money from the content they've got because let's face it writing a blog post once you get into it is easy but it takes time and it is something that is really really powerful so if you look at it you spend 30 minutes a day writing content and you share that in the form of two blog posts per week and two emails to your newsletter per week at the end of a week you probably have something close to five thousand words and at the end of the month you probably have something like twenty thousand words from your blog posts and your emails and those blog posts and those emails contain Chips of gold. Well, they do if you do it properly. Um, if you don't, then you're never going to sell any books. But most bulk bloggers do do it properly. And they write the most amazing content. And the thing is, people bookmark those blog posts and they never go back to them. They never see that amazing content again. And it's great because the bookmarking sends more traffic and it's wonderful. But there are people like me who are really old fashioned that when they kick off their heels of the night, they don't actually sit there and scroll through pay Facebook to be entertained. They pick up a book and they start reading. <laughs> and this is a book by a email marketer called Robert Bly. 
and in it he's got i'm just getting oh 101 there we have it oh sorry it's a bit blurry 101 email newsletters that he's put together and made into a book and the book is um 270 pages so it's not a small book it's a5 in size and he sells it for 15 dollars now those 101 emails if he'd have sent them twice a week it would have taken him a year to write this book but i'm betting that we've all been emailing our customers for a lot longer than a year and that we actually have some stacks of gorgeous content sitting there not just on our blog but in our email newsletters and in other places you might have them on medium you may have them on linkedin you've got lots of glorious content sitting there that should be driving you traffic but for some reason it's not and it's not earning its keep as much as it what it should do so now right so already already you've got a way to customize this course mm -hmm. that you've suggested <laughs> so you can use this course to pull together your own book and let me tell you how easy it is you could probably do this in about three days flat um you can outsource it to a va and you could probably have it done in three days flat so getting it put together isn't hard it's not something that's going to take you a year two years you're going for people who've already got the content and the chances are you've got the content as well and if you've got more than one content sparks blaze pack you've got the content because you've got emails and blog posts in that as well and all you have to do is pop them into a word doc and then make it flow but this is where the real magic comes in when you're teaching this to your students they're going to want to know the nifty little tricks about how to make it flow better how mm -hmm. to fill in the gaps and all of the other things that they don't know because right now you're probably sitting here thinking gosh if that's all i've got to do all i've got to do is copy and paste my blog post wrap it in a word document and then i've got a book well if it was that easy everybody would be doing it but you can train people and all you've got to do is follow the guidelines in this course kit in fact i'm betting every single person who downloads this could get a course up on this very quickly and have at least one example book up on amazon to show people when i had done my 30 day blogging challenge i pull all of those emails and blog posts into a book and i give away twenty five thousand copies a year I also sell several thousand copies a year. I don't actually have it in um, paperback form. That's coming this Christmas. So get your Christmas list ready for that. This is something that people want. They do something with you and they think, gosh, that's a really great piece of content. And there you are saying, Jeez, my book. and they think, yeah, because they want to keep it. Now, I don't know this guy. I just saw that it was all his newsletters. Now I could go into Active Campaign and look at all of his archives of newsletters, but will I actually print them off and study them? No. Will I actually do anything with them? No. I, I mean, I know how to get them out of the archive and look at them, but I haven't done it. But I've got the book in my hand and all I have to do is sit here with a fluorescent marker and mark up the bits that I'm interested in and post it note the bits that I want to expand upon learning wise and I also know from chapter eight he probably replies to emails so if I've got any questions I can email him and he'll give me an answer because mm -hmm. that's just the way he does business and I know all of this because he turned his blog and he's email list content into a book so i think this is something really fantastic and you'll love teaching it anna you say you don't have a blog you keep pinning your ideas randomly um you can do that random ideas from anu and put them into an order and make them a little book i had a friend oh it was about 12 years ago her book was called 101 little miracle ideas 
and it was sales tips, just pithy little paragraphs put together, and she made that a book. And people loved it because it wasn't a huge read. And these were the things that she would share on LinkedIn and on Twitter, the little status updates. And it became a really lovely little book and people really, really raved about it. So don't think your random ideas have no value or because you don't have a blog, you don't have an opportunity because you do, you have a, a good opportunity. And this pack will help you think creatively around how you can repurpose your content. Yep. And you said, it's awesome. That's such a beautiful idea. Yep, go for it. We expect you to share your book with us, Anna. We're waiting for it. Get the pack. It will take you about three days to get this done. Um, yeah, you might not sleep until Sunday, but it's all good. <laughs> And then the key will be looking at the themes in there because once you have a book with a non-fiction book we're talking about, not, not something fiction and fantasy, usually there's something that people are getting out of that, something learning. So like the post-apocalyptic marketing, you know, maybe you wouldn't take all of those and put them into a course, but people want to, people look at those and say, okay, now how do I really put this into action? Because most books might give you some tips, but they're not giving you the real how on there. They give you some. And that's where having a course comes in where you can really help people get through it. So somebody like, um, I think it's Pat Flynn has the book, what's it called? Will it fly? About mm -hmm. taking your idea. And then he created a companion course with that. So it was all around testing your idea and, and having some great idea. But then he actually does an online course. I don't know whether he does coaching with that as well, but it all works together. And he has his blog, the Smart Passive Income blog. So he went and one of the topics in there, one of the themes is always figuring out what your idea should be. He's done this more than once. Um, you've probably heard of him. Well, you, I know, Sarah, but other people have probably heard of him as well. It's the same, same concept in there. And actually, you could do this, thinking about it now, as a, from a podcast as well. So if you have a whole series of podcasts, now you'd need the transcription to put it into a book, but it's the same idea. And so for someone like me who doesn't really want to listen to the podcast, I would love to see that information in a book, see it transcribed and in a book organized where I can actually read through it. So just another idea there as well. Um, do we get any coaching sessions will help us to get support? Um, are you talking no, about with not. this? Huh? No, no, I think um, Anu, I think you're looking for us giving you coaching on how to use the course. Just clarify that or because certainly if you're giving a course, you want to do coaching sessions. We're providing you with the material to learn and teach your own course. But we do have this uh, our 10 day challenge, which walks through how to set things up you know, how to set up any of our content sparks courses. So we can give, I can give you the link to that a little bit later, but we have a, a free one that goes through the basic steps. And then we have the VIP one, which has a lot more training in it. And then we also for customers have the option of joining something called VIP live, which is twice a month, we do these group Q and A calls. So that's an option to think about if that was what, and you said, yes, that's what you're talking about. All right, so I can share those a little bit later or separately for you. Um, Cindy said, can you go from blog post to online course or do you need to organize it into a book first? Good well, question. how you've done this magic with this particular program, Sharon, because this is okay. really cool. Okay, so let me show you the overview of the course because you could certainly do that. It would just require a little, it, it actually requires the same sort of steps. You would just jump from organizing it into a theme to then doing the course so you wouldn't actually write the book. So if I show you uh, the overview, this is just the sales page. Um, this is that that sales page for the course itself, which is the contentsparks.com slash blog book course. All right, but let me show you the overview of it, which is here. So the course walk is really in two sections. 
turning your blog into a book, and then turning your book into an online course. So it'll go through selecting a theme and your goal, doing the book blueprint, refining and revising them, publishing your book. But what you could do is select your theme to find your goal and then jump to turning it into an online course. So you could skip the, the book part of it. And there you'd plan out your course, to put it into, you know, this says chapters to course modules, but you would say, um, look at those themes and plan it out and just go straight to course modules. So in the book, you're taking your blog content, making it flow based on the goal of the book, right? So it all fits together. Same concept with the course, you're making it flow, but you're adding on learning activities, learning objectives, stuff like that the learning materials, and it goes through through all of that. So definitely you could go from blog to course as well, okay? Uh, it just requires a little more, a little customizing of it, or if you're going through it yourself. Actually, let me show you a couple of the worksheets in here. I assume you want to see these, Sarah, right? You want me to show oh, yeah. them? Of course <laughs> do. All right, so uh, one of the, two of the things we have in here this would be in the student materials. You can't see it because it's tiny, but there's an action guide, right? The usual, we do an action guide, but there's also a book blueprint. This is one of the handouts that goes with the course. So this would be a way here, I can open it up bigger. Well, that didn't really help that much, did it? Um, but it goes through a way to outline your book and plan your book. So this is a really nice handout all in its own. And actually, it could make a good lead magnet as well, because then people are going to need help with actually going through all this, right? So this is um, 15 pages. And then there's also, oh, this is the, the course book. Let me open up the course framework. So you also get this other handout that's a course framework for outlining your course. So this is the same concept. If you were looking at your at your book and identifying a theme or sorry, looking at your blog post and picking out a theme based on what are the most important, here, let me come back here. What are the most important themes or the most popular ones that people always look at? Um, you know, people are visiting or asking you about. You can outline that into a course framework just using this handout alone and some of the other, the tips from the course. So it gives you, guides you through doing the title, outlining your modules, outlining each individual module and the learning activities. So it's, it's kind of like a shortened version of our big course on how to create an online course, only you're using your blog to do that. Or it's kind of a shortened version of the Write Your Expert book course that we have, only you're, again, you're using your blog content and outlining it from there. All right, I hope that makes sense as well. Let me know, Cindy, if it doesn't. And what else should I show here? Uh, this I was saying is the is the course book, right? So it's this just gives you, I know you can't read this. You're not really supposed to be able to read this because you have to get the course to be able to get the content, right? But it just shows you what it looks like and that there's activities that go through why you should repurpose. In the first place, turning your blog into a book is that first section where it's broken up into lessons and action steps and use that, that framework for the book, the book blueprint. And then once you've gone through all that, options for publishing, you go into the next module, just turning your book into online course. So you can customize that. And you could go, you could customize, it, customize this more um, based on the way Sarah just said, where you're turning your newsletters into an online course or into a book, or you're turning your podcast into a book or an online course. So definitely play with this to pay based on your audience. I know it's from blog to book to course, but think about, think outside of the box, be open-minded about that as well. So that's the, that second half. And then I think there is a conclusion. So there's adapting the chapters. You can see there's a lot of stuff in here learning module, learning objectives, activities. Um, and then in the conclusion, we talk about other ways to repurpose, other repurposing projects that you can do. 
right? So that's just a peek at that. What else would you like me to show? Who wants at... to know if you can flash up a question? Um, this one? Yeah. Well, this is really good because you've shown your student how to create the book and now they want to know how to promote it. So you've got a natural upsell into the promote the living daylights out of your book program that Sharon does. I can't remember its proper name. Um, uh, promote and market your book, your business book. It's business so book. Yeah. You've got a beautiful funnel here that you can opt people in and talk about the getting more revenue streams and doing more mm -hmm. with your content, selling them the course, say you sell them from blog to book, and you sell that to them for say $27. And then you sell them the bigger program for $99. You've got a really beautiful funnel there of people coming in who are content creators, who've got content. You don't have to teach them how to create content because they've got loads already. You're just teaching them how to repackage it. And once they've got the book, they want to make it into a bestseller and learn how to promote it. And you can do that too. So this is a really wonderful pack that if you've got the how to promote and market your business book, you've got a stepping stone and it gives you a really nice um, marketing funnel. I can't pretend it's something else because that's exactly what it is. And <laughs> there is such wonderful content in the promote and market your business book. I recorded it in September and I've had so much fabulous feedback around it. Um, particularly, is this the one with the spreadsheet in it, Sharon? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, by the way, we put this on sale at the same time and the one on how to launch and market your online course because it does go so so well with it. Um, it's a good, have to you want me to remember you. what's in every single one of our courses? I'm stringing your profits here, giving everybody a discount. There's a marketing assets checklist, a book yeah. launch time, and a book launch uh, timeline. timeline. Fantastic tool. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, the entire course, what people pay for it, I think they pay for it 147 when I sell it. Um, Hmm. I had people telling me that that spreadsheet was worth the entire course, even if they never did anything else. Now, I've never tried to sell a spreadsheet for just for $147, but people do really, really love that spreadsheet because it takes all of the thinking out of launching a book. So if you're looking to create a full funnel, this is absolutely perfect to go with the how to market your book. And mm -hmm. even if you're not, if you're not sure, it's still a really good one. And if you're sitting there thinking about your own audience, this is one that you can, if you know content creators, you can sell this. Mm -hmm. It is such a good sell because you're coming up to the time of year where people buy books. People buy Kindles for Christmas gifts and holiday gifts and Thanksgiving gifts and all things like that. They buy Kindles. And the one thing people have once they've got a Kindle is they need books. <laughs> so they go on to Amazon and start looking for books. And if you're on Facebook and social media sharing your books, you're going to get people download it, particularly in December. It's Christmas of the book season. Oh, I like that. I might have to keep that for myself. It's, Christmas is the book season? <laughs> December is the book season. It's when you get the most sales, the most downloads. People buy books of gifts. There's all sorts of things you can do with the books. And if you're showing people how to do this, I'm pretty sure you could get it today, start selling it, and on the 5th of November be delivering it and have people with books in the Amazon store in December. I'm that convinced that it is that fast. Mm -hmm. It is not something that people have to wait months and months to get results. They can have this up and online, either as Create Space Kindle books, which are the easiest kind, or as a paperback book. And 
your audience are going to be in a really good position to get sales because it's Christmas. So you don't have to do that much work in supporting your audience because it's that perfect time of year. You know, in photography, they have the golden hour where around, is it between 4 and 6 p.m., just as the sun goes down, the light as it comes through is golden and all the photographs you take in that magical hour are absolutely gorgeous you're about to enter the book golden month <laughs> <laughs> also one idea you can do because it's going to be uh hard to get two courses going that quickly unless you're you've already been doing this and already have a, a process for this is you can start with the blog to book to course, or just do that first section blog to book, save the booked course for later, get them focused on that and just use part of the promote and market your business book to get them launched. Cause there's a lead magnet in there, a short report called uh, five easy ways to increase revenue from your book. So that's just another idea. You can pull out pieces to get them started with their book or and maybe add it on to the end of the blog to book course. So the, I'm just brainstorming some different ways now for you to get this going quickly without making a massive funnel and having to do all this stuff. Because then as you're nurturing those people and helping them, then you'll have the bigger course ready for them to do as well. So start out with one bit, add on with something smaller maybe, or a boost or a challenge to get them going. And then, then you'll be ready to sell on to the next thing. Um, <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> you don't, you ask as many questions as you want. And anyone else who wants to add questions in there, remember, just put them into the comments below because we're looking out for those and we'll look out for them later as well. Okay. And again, that URL is the contentsparks.com slash blog book course. All right. That's what we're talking about that particular release, but we were talking about, um, let me close that out. We were talking about with Anu the promote and market your business book as something you can use as an upsell, which we also put on sale is, you know, we try and do something where you can always create some sort of funnel or curriculum. So while we have this main course, that's brand new, the how to repurpose from blog to book to course, you will want to always be thinking about what else you can sell or what else will help people. The two go together. <laughs> what else you can, what else will help people and that you can sell so that you're always helping and always offering something else. So we did put those other two that we already have on sale at the same time. All right. So what else would you like us to look at? I see some more comments. Um, I know this is about using your own content. This isn't about using other people's content. This isn't about taking other people's content and passing it off as your own in any way shape or form um, that's not what content sparks is about but i'm pretty sure you know that um, it's something that many many bloggers are absolutely against um, i think what might be considered plagiarism is we've all got this same basic book yeah. So if we all put this up, people would say, hey, I bought that off of Sharon. I bought it off of Sarah. I bought it off of Anu. It's all the same content. Well, actually, it wouldn't be the same for me because I would customize mine with different covers. And to be honest with you, I'm probably going to chop up that content and mince it like you've never seen before. And it's going to be filled with examples from people from my blogging challenge. So my blog to book isn't going to look the same as Sharon's. And it certainly isn't going to look the same as yours. Yet we're working from the same source materials. And I think of the brandable kits as Sharon gives us as like a recipe kit. You know, you get the ingredients, you know, you get the milk, the flour, 
and the various other components to make a meal, but we all cook in a different way. How I make my pancakes is different to how you make the pancakes in the US. Yours are thick like rubber. Um, and well, they're so, not. <laughs> they shouldn't be rubber. <laughs> and over here in the UK, as a slightly thinner than the American ones, but in <laughs> France, they're like tissue paper. Yet we all work from the same ingredients. In France, they call theirs crepes. Over here, we call them pancakes. And we call those rubber things that the US people have that are not rubber, just look it. We call those American pancakes. <laughs> Exception to that. That's a poorly made pancake. I'm not sure exactly what you're worried about with the plagiarism with uh, with your own book or whether you're worried about using the content sparks materials. So if you can explain what you what you're worried about, what's going to be plagiarized, that would be really helpful um, because with a book it shouldn't be. Um, it, you know if, if it's your copyright and what you've done, you're not taking the content sparks materials and making it into a book. Our materials are meant for teaching a course. And you definitely cannot ever put that onto Kindle. All right. So that's, yeah, that's one of the things I meant. So not the content sparks. You're worried about, you're worried about your own material getting plagiarized. So your book, plagiarism is always going to be an issue. I, you know, you put a copyright on it. You keep an eye out. I think mean, most people in general, if there is plagiarism going on, it's minor because if you're doing a good job marketing your book, then they're usually not the people who do, who plagiarize, but yeah, that's always gonna be an issue. Can't help it. So, um, Microsoft Office speed tips. We're gonna call you Micro for short. <laughs> Let me know what your name is. That would be helpful. I hate calling not being able to tell people or call people by their name. So if I want you to combine my blog content with PLR, what percentage would be acceptable for a Kindle ebook? I would say zero that you yeah. have to rewrite. You cannot use PLR. Death on getting a ban. You cannot. Yeah. You have to rewrite anything you use. All right. Really important. It's okay in a print book. Though I still, if it's written stuff versus say a planner, I still wouldn't do it because you're putting your name on something that's gonna be in, in print. Whereas when you're teaching something and creating video and the text part is supporting materials and stuff, that's different because you're injecting yourself into it. You're teaching it. It's naturally going to be different, especially when you use examples and stuff. But it is against the terms on Kindle to have any PLR. It's actually against their terms to have, I think, anything that's already freely published on the web, isn't it? Yeah. For Kindle, not it for print. It has to be substantially different. Um, so yeah. if you've got a series of blog posts, like I have with my blogging challenge, <laughs> Micro Gale. <laughs> okay. So I've got my blog posts with the blogging challenge and the blogging challenge book is made up of all of those posts which are freely available on the internet. However, they also come with checklists, of writing tips, they also come with other bits and pieces, tracking sheets and other things and it's no longer the same as what you can find freely online and whilst you may go and dig out the 30 blog posts which wouldn't be easy i don't make it difficult it's just not easy and um, you would miss all of the other things that tie it all together and that's what you learn in the blog to book course how to refine it and tie it all together because it's not just like this guy has done where he's slapped together his 101 emails you want yours to flow and when yours flows you will sell more copies of it your mm -hmm. students will sell more copies it's the flow that keeps them reading the book that i'm sharing is the example um i can read that put it down and i don't know if you have the same thing in the u.s or elsewhere in the world, we call them toilet books. You put them on the back of the toilet and <laughs> you can read a page 
<laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're not designed to be sat. It's not the Game of Thrones <laughs> where you're sitting there reading, oh, my gosh, George R. R. Martin has just killed somebody else. Oh my God. <laughs> You've been on the toilet for a long time for that one. <laughs> yeah, those kind of books, you're going to be on the toilet for about three months. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this conversation is going way off track here. I'm keeping an eye on the time and we've got exactly 25 minutes left to go through anything else that we want to go through. So keep asking questions, but I want to make sure that what Sarah has behind her, we ask. ask the bonuses, Sharon, the bonuses. Show us the bonuses. Or actually, no, I should show you the, let me show you the expansion pack first, because this is stuff with the expansion packs. It's stuff that, is not required or necessary to teach the course, but you're gonna want it anyway, because it's really good stuff. It's extra stuff that is fun to have. So let me open that up for you as well. And it is a separate package and you have to, the bonuses go to people who get both the main course and the expansion pack. So we are trying to get you to buy it, obviously. Uh, expansion pack. So there's, uh, ebook, you can't read this, but there's ebook cover tips, ebook cover tools, ebook resources. And then my favorite, so there's a bunch of stuff around ebooks. But then my favorite thing is these online course stuff, because we haven't really spoken about online course stuff yet. One of the hardest things with creating online courses is, is doing the learning activities to make sure people implement. And one of the big benefits of having an online course based on your book is that it's <clears throat> actionable and people are putting into place what you're taught in the book and are teaching the course. So to help in the expansion pack, there's two things. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, not be able to talk now for some reason. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> but this is a really good template because it gets your students thinking about how they can take somebody from passively creating a course around their book to making them active and getting results. And we've all done those courses where we've done them. And at the end of it, we think, what did we get out of that? Now, you don't ever want to be somebody who teaches that. And here you've got this incredible guide and there's also a template. Yep. where you can show people how to create the learning activities yep. and how to help people get results. And this sticks you head and shoulders above all of the other course creators out there who just say, you know, turn your book into a course, but they don't tell you how to help people to get results. Uh, they don't help you teach online. They don't help you do anything. It's just, you can do it, rah, rah, rah. Here, <laughs> Sharon gives you that magic, that missing ingredient that everybody thinks everybody knows, but actually, actually they don't. So just being able to teach that and use the learning activities template, it gives you a real head and shoulders above anybody else teaching this out there. Yeah. And yeah, there are a few people that talk about from blog to book, but they're not necessarily the people who fit your audience and they're not going to be teaching them the same things you are here. So you've got a really fantastic course and you can tell I'm really excited about this one. So I should say my obligatory, no, don't buy it. I want to keep it for myself. <laughs> But I do love this extra in the expansion pack because people do struggle with it. And this goes through while there's some stuff in the course around learning activities. This goes a little bit deeper where you can where it talks about how it actually works, the thinking behind creating learning activities. I'm echoing out of your speaker, by the way. Oh, sorry. Okay. but I do want to also talk about the bonuses because this is a favorite. So for people who get the main course in the expansion pack, we have two bonuses. There's a Trello board, which if you haven't experienced one of those before, it's the action guide from the course, but set up in 
Trello, which is a free tool. You get this little PDF and then there's a link to open up. You create a free account in Trello and then you copy the board and you can edit it anyhow you want, any way you want. Um, if you change the action guide, you change it in here in Trello and then your students just love this because it's a nice interactive way rather than printing out a PDF and filling things in, they can, they can check off things right on the Trello board. So you would share it with them after you've edited and added your own branding. So that's one of the, one of the bonuses, but the other one I want to show because you really can only get it in the first few days of the launch. So I think it ends Wednesday and you'll want to grab this because there are two templates in here, two planners in here, and these are related to the book stuff. So the going, uh, putting together a book and you don't have to just use this with the course. You could use this for anyone that's selling, that's writing a book. The first is an author bio planner. The other is your book description planner. They're both in PowerPoint. So they're very easy to edit. They're already in the size for printing though you, if you're in the U S UK, you might need to resize it. Uh, but that's very simple to do just in the design and the slide size. You can do a custom slide size for anything. There, let me make this full screen. Yeah, you can't really see, but right now it is um, seven and a half by 13. So you can always adjust that based on how you want people to print it. All right, so that's your author bio planner. You would just put your own logo, your own name on it, and it goes through things like why bios matter, and you plan. they plan out where can they share it, and other things that are going to help them actually write their author bio, which is a really tough thing for most writers to do. And the other is the book description. These are both really important things for when they go to print their book. So these, again, you brand and make into a PDF for your students. And because it's in PowerPoint, it's very easy to change. If you really want to get fancy, you could do it in Canva and do stuff there. But we put it into PowerPoint this time to make it even easier for you because it's a little bit longer. All right, so that's more stuff in there. And you're definitely going to want these. People have already asked us about this. So, and we had it waiting, so I'm really glad we've got that. And again, that's for people who get the main course and the expansion pack, right? You wanna add anything else about those planners? Cause you are the queen of the planners, Sarah. <laughs> Well, Barb, if you're listening, you're going to love these. You're going to have quite the collection to your planners. Oh, wait, Barb. I have to share um, this. <laughs> Gail. <laughs> it's the flow that keeps them reading. <laughs> Get that book to flow. Just like <laughs> that. <laughs> that or you create in a toilet book. And um, feel free to use <laughs> these examples. <laughs> Maybe oh. I need to do that. Create a toilet book. And be on everybody's gift list this Christmas. <laughs> oh, see, I've already got an angle. Um, what I was going to say was about the planners is whenever you sell something online, people expect bonuses and they expect incentives to encourage them to make the purchases. And having these additional planners means you can add these and say, and two bonus planners worth an additional $27 that will help you do this, this, and this. So you've now packaged your offer in a far more palatable way for your audience and they want it because they want those planners because you find lots of people, even people who've got a book published, the bit that they get stuck on is right in the bios and right in the descriptions. Oh, gal, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. it. It's called Flush. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, you'll have to message me your surname, gal, and I'll say, and um, title by gal from Microsoft Office Speed Tips. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to put speed in there too. No, okay. We're not going any further on that, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, and you have to tie that. How are you going to tie that into Microsoft Office? <laughs> For when you want to throw your computer down the toilet? <laughs> the 
toilet in your office. Okay. Oh dear, we've just descended into chaos. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to have your planner in there too. Mm. You can <sighs> see how creative we get on these lives. We came on, we didn't have a program. Now we've got flush, create your toilet book in seven days from content that you've already got. <laughs> And what's a toilet book? It's something that everybody buys at Christmas. <laughs> so in the space of 45 minutes, we've come up with a complete new program based on Sharon's blog book course. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that, your repurposed version. <laughs> uh, what's the course going to contain? <laughs> Just sitting here thinking, oh, what we do flush the course? <laughs> It can go into a whole dietary program. <laughs> <Just well. laughs> That's your add-on. <laughs> it must be almost time for us to finish. <laughs> yeah, my tagline is going to be so good, you're going to want to go more than twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, girl. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to finish up early because we're just crying. <laughs> <with my mouth. laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I was going to start talking about add-on courses, but I think we're going to stop that there. <laughs> All right. So the course, again, is called Repurpose from Blog to Book to Course. And it's not just for bloggers, because we've talked about how you can divide it up, because uh, as I showed in that whole picture, it, it does go into two sections, turning your blog into a book, your book into a course. We talked about how you could go straight from blog to course, how you can break it up and just do the blog to book, and then teach some of the things and how to promote and market your book. And then you could follow up afterwards with those people. So to talk about how to make your book into a course, if you're just focusing on the course, you can focus on the course part. I mean, sorry, if you're just focusing on the book, you go to the course. I've lost my train of thought. If you're just going from the book to promoting the book, you can then go book to course and then to promoting your course. So there are lots of ways to think about this. And the first thing is to think about which things your audience will want most. So if your audience is primarily bloggers, then you could find out from them which they'd be more interested in. Because Ultimately, having both the book and the course is going to drive the most sales and the most value from your content and really help people the most because you can only get so much out of a book and so much out of the course, but combined together, they will address everybody's needs. And then you can add your podcast on too, if you have a podcast. So we talked about that too, talking, um, transforming your podcast into a book. So I hope that helps. Um, for anyone that has questions, write them here in underneath this particular replay, or you can also always send information, always send questions to support. So let me flash that up here. So you can always send any questions, support at contentsparks.com. If you are already a customer of ours, you should be in the, our customer mastermind group on Facebook. So you can also ask questions there and either tag me or tag Sarah, and we will see those. Otherwise, we also look at the page and the community. Um, those are the best places. If you're watching this on YouTube, which I think Gail, you are and Anu, you are watching on YouTube. Why do we have no one on Facebook today? That's a little concerning. So much, the Facebook people. Oh, we do have some people on Facebook, but for some reason, not a lot. I can always make sure that's there. Um, if you are on Facebook, I would love to know. Just leave a comment. But if you're watching it on YouTube, you're better off if you have questions to send them into support at contentsparks.com because that's where we're going to see it first. 
YouTube is not as great as it doesn't really let me know about questions very well. So we broadcast it there so that you have another option. But if you don't like going on Facebook, then the best thing is, again, to just send it to support. Um, also, Anu, I think you asked about more coaching. So I was going to give you that link, VIP Live. That's the one for our coaching, our twice a month coaching calls. They're group coaching, so small group calls where we answer questions and network and brainstorm and everybody gives input. So those are really great. But the main thing for today was the blog book course. Okay. Anything else you want to add before we finish up? Sarah? Sarah's being quiet because she's going to just have fits of giggles and that'll be it. I'll be I know. I'm still, I'm still calming down. Don't I sound calm? <laughs> so I want to see everybody's toilet books before the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, we just create the whole new genre of books. <laughs> All right. I'm going to end with that. And please um, let us know if you have questions. I look forward to seeing what everybody does with the new course. Take care now. Bye.